So, what was the very first thing that someone said? Brian, I think you said it was curved. Curved, not straight. That's very important. Help me out. What else did we say? Okay, we said there was symmetry. Along the y-axis. Mm -hmm. What else? I think Ryan was talking about the fact that it, it looks like a straight line if you go far enough. The way that we would say that is it approaches a linear function. That's a really fancy way to say it. We'll come back to these words next term. But all that means is if you look far enough at a particular spot, it looks like a straight line. Were there any other features that we noted? Any other features? Let me add um, one or two more, some really important ones, okay? You know how the number line has one important spot on it that's more important than the rest? And the, um, the Cartesian plane also has an important spot. That spot is very important to the parabola as well. Do you notice that? It's the spot where it it, it sort of turns around, it's where it curves, right? Well, it sort of curves everywhere, but this is where it goes from down to up, okay? So that spot has a name. It's called the vertex. The vertex, okay? The vertex of this particular parabola, because there's others we're going to explore in a second. The vertex of this parabola is zero, zero, the origin, okay? Alright, now we're going to play with this a little bit. If you haven't already, open your laptop back up. Um, this is going to get a little bit busier, so what I'm going to ask you to do is, um, we've got y equals x squared there. Use all these other x's, use them to get rid of all the other stuff. Okay, we just went y equals x squared. So I'm going to delete all these things. Okay, so now we've just got this guy. What I want you to do is click into uh, the actual equation up here, and in front of the x, I want you to put the letter A. And you can just type A, or you can use your own screen keyboard. Now, when you do that, does your screen do what my screen did? It says add slide. Go ahead, press the blue button. Okay. Now, what you've added is, as the name suggests, it's a slider. So you go ahead, slide this thing around. Okay. I'm going to be super lazy. I'm going to get it to slide itself. Okay. Now. What's happening? What's happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's slow this down. It's gone a bit too fast for my liking. That's a bit too slow. <laughs> okay, what's going on? What's going on? I'm going to stop it. Let's stop it about... Well, that'll, that'll do. Actually, I want to do one more thing. Can you add on x squared again? You know how you changed your x squared? I need you to add on x squared, just add it back. Okay, okay. Shh, 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 shh. maybe I'll make it a bit of a simpler number. Let's go to like three or something. Bam. Okay, what you're looking at right now is y equals x squared next to one of its cousins. It's y equals, at the moment, a, my a, and I'd love you to put yours the same as mine. A is 3 right now, so this is y equals 3x squared, okay? How would you describe the difference between y equals x squared, which is my green one, and y equals 3x squared, which is my black one? What's different? It's... Yeah, it looks like it's kind of narrower, it's narrower, okay? Um, but there are most of the things that are still the same, aren't they? Have a look at this list that we wrote down. How many of these things are still the same? We wrote down four things. How many of them are still the same of this? They're all the same, in fact. Okay? Uh, it's still curved. There's still the same symmetry. It's still, if you zoom in at a spot you choose, it'll still look like a straight line. And it still has the same, what's that called again? The vertex. Okay, good. Now I want you to take that 3, right? You can see, obviously, you can drag it as far as you like, you can slide it as far as you like, and it'll keep on getting steeper and steeper and steeper. By default, it maxes out at 10, but if you click on 10, you can actually change it to be, you can go from uh, up to 100 if you want, or whatever you want. 
And you can see if I drag it, look what happens. It just gets thinner and thinner and thinner. And there's no, there's no limit to it. If I made it something like a million, y equals a million x squared instead of just x squared, it'd be like this tiny stick. Okay? So I'm just going to go back to the numbers that it was before because they were fine. Okay, now we made it narrower, but you guys noticed what happened if I go to about there. What does this mean? Hmm. This is not y equals 3x squared. It's y equals 0.3x squared. So how is it different now? The black one is the changed one, right? Say it again, Andrew. It's wider. We got narrower before. Surprise, surprise, this is wider. It's wider because this number is less than 1. If you put it on exactly 1, you'll just get the green graph. If you make it bigger than 1, you'll get the narrow one. Does that make sense? Okay, and then you all noticed and you went, whoa, okay. When it goes negative, what happened? It's flipped down, okay? So we need to add a little dot point on here to describe this. Uh, here we go. Parabolas, parabolas, they can be, a colloquial word would be facing, but a technical word is concave up or concave down. Now you guys have met the word concave before in science, I'd guess. What do you usually describe concave things as? Lenses, glasses, right? You've got concave, you also have Convex, right? So here, concave refers to which, which direction is the inside of, I guess if it was like a cup, like a goblet or something like that. That's concave up. This guy is concave down. Okay? They can be concave up or concave down depending on... Okay, now again, I need to introduce a new word. I'm sorry to introduce lots of terminology for you, but it's really important. See this number A? out here. It's, oh, it's so close. Um, well, actually, it is a constant, but in this case, because it's attached to an x, a variable, we call it the coefficient. So, if the coefficient is positive, like a equals 3, or a equals 1, or a equals 1,000, right? If a is positive, that's how I would write that, that means it's concave up. And maybe you want to draw like a little tiny concave up parabola here, just so you remember what concave up means. Zoop, there we go. Doesn't have to be big or beautiful, just so you can see the direction. If on the other hand, like the one I've got right now, see that one over there? Uh, what is A? It's negative 1.4. So if A is negative, then you get concave down. And again, just draw a tiny little diagram on the side there, just so you have a, a visual marker of what concave down means. This is what happens when A is positive or A is negative. What happens when A is neither positive nor negative? What's the number that's neither? Zero. It's zero. Well, go ahead, make A equal zero. Oh. It's not a parabola at all, right? Why is that? Well, now you've got y equals 0 times x squared. Well, 0 times anything is still 0, and that's, that's that straight line. See that? OK, one last thing we're going to do. See how you got ax squared, and I asked you to add on the a? I want you to add on something different this time. Add on, at the end, plus and then the letter C. Um, you might think the most logical thing to add is a B, but we'll come back to the B in a minute. Just make it a C, and just like we did before, go ahead and add a slider. Okay. What just happened? Can you do me a favor and make your numbers the same as mine? Okay, so I've got A is 1 and C is 1. Okay. When A equals 1, this is just Y equals X squared. But c is this number on the end. So this is y equals x squared plus 1. Do you, do you see that? It's plus 1. Okay. So what's the difference between the black and the green graphs? It's 
it's, it's gone up, right? The word, the fancy word we would use is it's been translated or shifted. Okay, exactly the same shape and I'm taking it up. And you can go ahead, do this right now, go ahead and slide C. Change the value of C and see what happens, right? See what happens, see what I did there? Anyway. Okay, so when you let C slide up and down, right? Then literally the parabola goes up and down, okay? So I'm going to stop it around there. Oh, I didn't stop it, there we go. That'll do. Okay, come back to the list. Come back to these characteristics. How many of these are still true for the new one that we just drew? Is it still curved? Yes. Is it still got that symmetry? Yes. Does it still do this straight line thing if you zoom in? Yes. Is the vertex still zero, zero? Aha. So the vertex can move up and down. You can put it wherever you like, okay? Depending on whatever C is. In fact, if you look closely, see that 3.92? Have a look at where the vertex is on mine. Just below four. No coincidence, that's 3.92. Okay, and of course, go ahead and do this on your own one. If you drag it down, put it some nice number that you can see, like minus two, then of course, there it is, right there, negative two. 